Good morning. We've just showered and we've just woken up actually. I got a total of 10 hours of sleep, I believe, last night, which is great for the gains. I also seem to have been shot in the middle of my fucking head while I slept too, which is not so great. It's actually 3 p.m. I missed my international relations class, unfortunately, my favorite class, but whatever. You know, sometimes you have those days. Rest is more important. And now I'm getting a phone call. Perfect, thank you. We're good there, but okay. Random ass fucking call. <laughs> um, but yeah, enough yap. Uh, time to brush your teeth and to get dressed, go eat food so that we can hit the gym. We're wearing the Gymshark power shirt today. Also Gymshark stringer, not stringer, I think it's a tank top actually. Uh, but we're dressed and we're ready to go eat. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you now. Okay, okay. Ah, back from lunch, uh, great lunch, lots of chicken and gym now. I'm gonna quickly transfer some of the videos from this SIM card to my computer. So I have a little more storage space from the gym because I think I only have like 30 minutes of storage right now and I typically need like an hour and a half to two. Um, and we're gonna publish the YouTube video, which I was meant to do yesterday, but I decided to wait a little bit because it would have been up at like eight and I would have cut off the, the whole of Europe uh, from, from, from the, the the video drop uh, so we'll do that now but yeah looking good feeling good ready for a phenomenal chest day and I'll catch you as we are heading out let's see if everyone else is ready guys we're doing looking so sexy what a beautiful fucking day like Hello, and we're back for another chest day. Now, here we're doing a warm up. Again, 50 to 70% of failure. 5 out of 7 RPE. RPE definition is on the screen again if you forgot. Come on. Come on. <laughs> then you can talk like that. It's like, it's like more, you know, like special shots. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's kind of funny. Like, you know, like <laughs> Today, we are joined by my good friend, Guy. And here he is doing his first set. Now, as you can tell, he's hitting depth on every rep, doing this perfectly, controlling the eccentric and going pretty fast on the concentric, which is optimal. The music today at the gym was pretty decent, but again, copyrighted, so we can't play it. Here we're moving on to the first set, 50 pounds each dumbbell, light first set, quick on the concentric and slow, slow eccentric, almost, if not already, touching our chest right at the bottom of the movement. We're gonna try to flip the dumbbell. Here's a second shot. Gee hitting a second set. Again, dumbbell's going very low. Almost hitting his chest there. Here we go. Me again. Dumbbell's hitting the chest. Yet again, perfect form. This is really what you want to do for your dumbbell chest presses. Again, we're on incline, 30 degree bench. Now what? What do you do? What's the next one? I don't know, is your form really that important? Uh, <laughs> because like, with the 60 I didn't go, like usually I touch my chest with it. Like, this time I was not. So I was like, really, sure. The lower not you sure. go, the better it is. I wish I had a fucking camera, man. Exactly. Life would be a lot easier. Yeah. And then the fucking, the massive, the massive gimbal. Like some guy with the light boom, and boom, 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 mic. Yeah. boom, mic. Some people holding, holding lights. the lights. <laughs> Buy a fucking crew. Okay, I'm gonna fill up the water. As you can tell, a lot more yap is included in this one. Uh, I thought it was nicer. Break break up the, the flow of the video a little bit. But here we go, Gee pushing hard on his final set of dumbbell ch incline chest press. Do you wanna do you wanna hold it? You want to. Okay, I'm gonna trust you, Gee. Okay, I'm gonna trust you to hold the camera. Please do not fuck this up, bro. Right? Okay, no, I'm not scared of you break it. I'm scared of you fucking up the shot. Okay. And here we go, Guy is handheld recording this rep. I finally have a cameraman, oh my god, the time that it's taken. Here we go, psychologically preparing for that 70 pound dumbbell lift at the end. Pushing hard, and this is my final set, so final set, best set. Now here you can tell I'm not going as deep, personally, just because I couldn't lift the weight if I was going as deep, so I'm sacrificing a little bit of range of motion, which, you know, some people will come out and say that this is unoptimal. However, I do want to prioritize volume and intensity in these lifts, and it's easier with that form. I don't record it, it's so funny. <laughs> right? Yeah. Is everything so good? Yeah, actually. Here we go, doing a little pump check right at the beginning. I'm joking, this is not a pump check. It was just really hot, hot day in the gym. Felt like I had to take it off. Bicep and shoulder vein could be coming imminently if the cut keeps going the way it's going. But here we are moving on to the machine chest press. 
you're lifting some heavy weight good form going right at the bottom you can see the stack even touching at the bottom of each rep perfect range of motion There we go, forcing it up. Oh my god, the weight is on the screen as usual. And honestly, I love this exercise. Even after an inclined chest press, this one kind of hits more of the middle to potentially even the, the low pec if you put up the bench high enough, as Guy is doing here. Now, personally, I wouldn't advise going straight from a, a, a machine chest press after a dumbbell chest press because it's kind of the same movement, but it's fun. Mark my fucking words, bro. I'm hitting 210 for eight reps on god i'm not gym? leaving this gym you're right i'm not <laughs> leaving this gym until i hit 210 for eight we're hitting this shit i'm not leaving the gym until i hit this now i'm gonna be honest uh prioritizing optimal training 24 7 it gets a little tiring so sometimes you do have to go out there and hit these heavy weights ego lift a little bit to you know make yourself feel a little happy because if training if all of training is just this robotic mathematical routine it gets a little boring as you know most of you know however this doesn't mean that you shouldn't train optimally just you know have fun sometimes change it up a little bit also i love the wife beater guy has on i need to get a wife beater that's tight on me or a tank top that's tight because all of mine are very loose but that's okay we are listening to the portuguese national anthem to get that fucking final lift that pushes hard but again, you see my elbows are low, my arms are almost perpendicular to the machine. Now I put my hands a little closer here, just so I can get a better chest contraction at the end, and I highly recommend doing the same. <laughs> here we go, moving on to some chest flies up. I don't know what this machine, what this movement is called, but these are just some like upper chest chest flies. Pushing those, you can see the bicep vein there. Oh my god, it is coming, dude! I'm so excited. But yeah, moving my body a little here, just to really make sure I can get that weight up and a little bit of a rest pause there, but that is all okay. We have Guy hitting a muscle up casually. You just hit a muscle up. <laughs> Come on, you got this. I'm weak now. I wanted to film him doing the muscle up because of course that's phenomenal content. There we go. Beautiful muscle up. Almost perfect form. One day, one day, I'll also be able to hit it. We go a little, little phone break, mandatory. You have your camera. <laughs> <laughs> um, say hi, bro. Say hi. You're in, the, you're in all the other ones, I think. Actually, <laughs> you're in every single one, I think. Which is weird, because it's like the, the only, the only times I film is like when you're here. Yeah, uh, yeah. The camera's low. <laughs> Today's video is a little shorter, and there is no real talk included in this one. I've decided to make those separate. I think it looks better, and also it's easier to, to get to a niche there and, and really form a better audience. Whatever. Boring YouTube stuff. You don't want to hear that. You just want to see me lift heavy fucking weights. And that's what we can see exactly here. Now again, at the end of your range of motion, or at the end of the movement on these flies, you really want to make sure you're bringing your pinkies together. And I tell you this here, and he feels the chest way more. <laughs> Honestly, you should try it. Now, your arms can be a little bent, like Guy's, but it's always better to have a little straighter arms. But of course, that's just getting nitpicky. This movement is really good to feel that pinch at your uh, chest shelf. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this movement. Honestly, any cable movement is, is phenomenal. Way better resistance profile. And if you don't know what that means, it's on the screen. Okay, I just spent like two minutes trying to clean this mirror. I don't know if I cleaned it uh, enough, but we'll fucking, we'll see right at the end of the day. Cute, bro. Looking cute, bro. Honestly, the lighting on the squat platform was so goaded, so I had to move the bench there so we could do our shoulder presses. There, are, there I am, wandering off, as I usually do. Now, when you're doing these shoulder presses, you want the bench to be at around 60 to 70 degrees. I, I found that that is the optimal range of motion, preferably down to the 60s. But if you want to go up to a little bit of a 70, that's okay. Here we go, dumbbells almost touching the shoulder. Preferably, you do want them to touch the shoulder. But again, uh, feeling a little tired here, so we're just pushing ourselves on the final rep. That was like half, that was like a partial. 
I'm flexing the, the shoulders a little bit. Honestly, I'm really happy with my shoulder development over the past couple of months that I've been training. Five months to be precise, I think. I started in uh, early October. Hard, hard, hard. Is it recording? Here we go, moving on to 55 pound dumbbells. Again, half of a range of motion at the end for that final rep, but it's always good to get that final rep out. Now, if you do want to do partials, I recommend doing I begin, I, I'd recommend doing partials at the beginning of the range of motion because it gets you a better uh, stretch, which helps with stretch mediated hypertrophy. But again, it, it doesn't really matter. It'll be like a four percent difference. Now, here you can see my range of motion has been sacrificed quite a bit, and my arms are basically just at a ninety degree angle now, which again isn't optimal. But again, sometimes you have to sacrifice optimal training to get that fucking crazy lift. But I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, short one today. Uh, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.